legislature funds community colleges with a formula. Colleges receive different amounts of money depending on various factors. By far, the biggest factor is FTE, which stands for Full-Time Equivalent Student. Classes are grouped into categories, or tiers. Higher tier classes are more expensive to offer and are considered higher workforce priorities. In the highest tier, Tier 1A, you'll find courses that are presumed most useful for immediately entering the workforce. Tier 1A includes courses in automotive repair, construction, nursing, and many more. Those receive approximately $4,500 per FTE. Each subsequent tier receives less than the tier above it. In theory, encouraging colleges to offer more courses that lead to employment. About 83% of state funds for community colleges were paid into the tier-based FTE model. But what about the rest? 15% of the budget went into base allotments. Every college receives about $2.7 million to support a basic complement of faculty and staff needed to run a college of any size. But some colleges receive additional funds in their base allocations if they have multiple campuses. Colleges receive an additional $566,000 for smaller satellite campuses, while large campuses like the Northeast Campus of Wake Tech or the Levine Campus of Central Piedmont Community College receive approximately $948,000 in additional funds. That was all part of the base allocation. The remaining 2% of funding is performance-based. Colleges with more successful students can get a slight bonus here. So how much money do colleges actually take home? Wake Tech Community College, the largest, received about $123 million this year. Pamlico Community College, our smallest institution, received less than $6 million. One of the biggest challenges for community colleges under the current system stems from the fact that colleges are funded based on prior year's enrollment. Colleges must fund new programs for a year before seeing a dollar from the state, since they only receive funding after students have been enrolled in a program for at least one year. I'm Jennifer Haygood, Executive Vice President for the North Carolina Community College System.